Hello, um, I thought I'd bring this video out because um, for the past few years when I've been upgrading my SSDs just for greater capacity or just adding SSDs to my PC as and when I need it, um, I've always, I've realised I've always buy them at a certain time of the year and, um, and that's why obviously the, the actual title of this video and really it's just to let you know really to make you aware of the best time to buy um, an SSD if you're looking to upgrade or to just add extra capacity is look at the um, Amazon um, sale time so Black Friday um, or like when I bought this so this arrived uh, today in fact and I bought this during the um, the prime you know two-day sale that's just finished now and I purchased this which I will show you uh, because it doesn't really matter about actual the capacity of the drive and what I bought I suppose generally but um, I will show you because you can see it is all sealed and it is you know just came through the door now um, let's just get out of the way <clears throat> so uh, this is a Western Digital Blue of two terabyte SSD I paid 174 pounds for this and um, the day before that and now it's gone back to its usual price of um, around 200 pounds so it was about 30 odd pound saving so you just over 30 pounds saving so that's pretty nice um, for this and you can see there's some <laughs> these some older ones as well because it's kind of ridiculous basically I uh, and the reason why um, I, I, I know I've gone through this process um, every year effectively or whenever there's a big sale on, I kind of preempt when I need extra SSD storage because these are some old drives which I don't use anymore because I've, um, I've replaced these ones with higher capacity ones. So, um, so these, these are both 500 gig SSDs, which is massive, right? But yeah, I need more. Um, and I've got multiple SSDs in my computer, so obviously making saving is a good thing. So I've got another one of these actually, which I bought in December because I tracked all my Amazon purchases because they were all from Amazon. And I don't know what the the price saving was, but last year when I bought that, this one, um, it was a hundred and sixty six pounds. So it's a little bit more expensive this time. And I bought that in December um, of two thousand and nineteen, so slightly more. But bear in mind, actually, um, I tracked the price when this came out, so, and I think it's about three years ago when this launched, this two terabyte, terabyte drive, it was over 500 pounds. So that's incredible. But every time I bought those, including these, um, right, tracking back to one of these, which is the oldest one I have. So, and this is a 500 um, gigabyte, MX100, so quite an old one, and I bought this from Amazon in, I let me just check, so that was in uh, two, January 2015, and this was um, £150, so you know, so yeah, so four times capacity and not much more, it just shows you how advanced these things have become, you know, how much but uh, how much more capacity you get and how much more savings you can make. But the, the, what I do is generally speaking, because I've got, basically I've got one of these in there, which is a game drive, uh, a two terabyte one. I have a, I also have a 500 gig one, which I'll be replacing. So the 500 gig one I'll be replacing will be a Samsung 850 Evo. And I bought that in 2017 in November, again, during the Black Friday sale. And that was 122 pounds at the time. Um, so that will be that will be this will be the replacement for that, um, and also have a, another. And I also have a um, a one terabyte, um, I think, crucial drive, which um, I'm not sure what the price is on that one. Yes, yeah, so I bought that in November two thousand eighteen, and that was one hundred sixteen pounds for one terabyte one. So yeah, so and and that's the thing to do is if it is because. I find the best way to do it is I don't actually need the storage right now, but I'm getting to the limit of those game drives where I, I'm getting sort of close enough to where you need to have a little little bit of a, a buffer. You don't want to fill them up to capacity. You want to have 15 to 20% free on those drives um, to allow the data to be moved around. And if there's any corrupt sectors, then data's moved away from those. And this way it keeps it all working nicely. So yeah, so on a two terabyte drive, you still want to have like 200 gig free, um, you really do. So yeah, so um, you, know, you do have to take that into account. And um, unfortunately in my setup, I've, I've basically saturated all my SATA ports. So um, I do need to actually increase capacity and replace 
smaller drives rather than adding another drive. So ideally it would have been just adding another terabyte drive, wouldn't it? But I can't because I have no longer have any spare SATA ports. I've got hard drives in there, got the boot drive, got three of these SSD game drives that I use for game installations. And yeah, so it's getting a bit busy there. So yeah, so it's time to get this. So yeah, let's uh, have so a quick look. So this is not a review of this um, Western Digital drive, but they are pretty damn good. It said I already have one of these, so I know they are, you know, it's doing fine. It's, you know, it's less than a year old and obviously it's uh, going to be no problems with it, but you know, here you go, have a quick look. Not that it really matters too much, pretty simple stuff, just plastic packaging. Crucial ones coming, nice little metal case, I suppose, but I went with Western Digital again this year because um, I know they're going to be reliable. So there you go. And another tip actually I wanted to show you is I uh, head over to my computer and um, and this is quite useful. Let's move the microphone a little bit. And just bring up my desktop view. Here we go. And bring up the web page. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's an old, old order. So that's what it's priced at now, this same drive that I bought. And it's gone, it's now £197 after the sale. Uh, so the next time to look for the discount is the Black you know black friday sale and this is also another good tip if you kind of forget about these things is um amazon price tracker so there's lots of websites that, that do this and all you need to do on this one is grab the url for the landing page for the product pop it in there and it shows you the historic prices over time and you can just see where we are now and that's what i paid around this sort of price and you can see the normal price nearer the 200 pound mark and you can see how, when it started out um, how expensive it started out when this when this drive launched and you can see how it's dropped over time and the other kind of cool thing about this is you can actually put um, a price in there where what you want to pay and then get it to email you a notification which is pretty cool so this is for uk amazon um i don't know if this will work on um if it will if it picks up different countries and oh it does yeah okay well at the bottom there's uh, different country zones for amazon so you can just use this but it's a really good way to buy ssds these things are quite you know you know even at 100 and, um you know 70 odd pounds it's still not super cheap but the fact is, you know, it, saving 30 or 40 quid is, is a nice thing. And I always preempt it. I always buy something a little bit before I need it. And this way I can, can, plan, I can plan it now. I, I don't need the extra capacity right now, but I know I will in the next few months. And by saving that money now, it's an inevitable purchase for me. So that's kind of the way I see it. Um, let's go back to... Uh, that okay so yeah, sorry a bit of a scrappy video i know but um this just arrived and it just occurred to me that i know i've gone through this process of planning weirdly ssd purchases of when i wanted extra capacity and and kind of planning it around the sale times and and basically getting them a bit earlier so yeah so just a strange little video i suppose from my channel but i figured i'd put it out there because i've just gone through this kind of strange kind of um, ritual of, of of buying ssds in advance and during the sales to save the money so yeah next time next sale i guess coming up at this point in time will be what the black friday sale um in uh end of november and maybe something in the new year i guess and yeah definitely track ssd prices from whatever brand because i've bought different brands in the past i've got um obviously I've got crucial here so that's a good brand samsung are really good as well and um good kind of price to performance value again is 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 western digital so that's why obviously i got that one today but yeah so there you go so uh hopefully that helps you save a few bucks in the future plan ahead get something you can make and you can save a good good portion on your uh on buying these uh little uh, storage devices okay guys well thanks for watching drop comments below the video if you have some tips as well uh be useful to share and uh hope to see you in the next one so cheers for now and bye bye